Hi everyone, my name is Zafar Siyab Khan Masood and this video is based on my fluid mechanics lab report. This is being supervised by my instructor engineer Muhammad Salman. Before we proceed, I want to clear up a few things. This report is based on five different experiments. This one is solely dedicated to only one of these experiments. And the other experiments, they have been mentioned below in the description. You can visit their links. And lastly, each one of these experiments is then subdivided into three different parts. First of all, where we explain and name the parts of the apparatus. Second, we explain the procedure, how the experiment has been performed. And third but not least, we give you all the lab observation and calculations we made. Hope that sums up all the confusion. Enjoy. So let's start by naming a few parts of this experiment. The first is the clamping board where we place our paper, the needles which touch the water jet surface, the non-adjustable overflow, the head tank where the water is being kept, and the inlet pipe and the circular orifice. A close-up view of the circular orifice, this is the place where our water projects from. And the non-adjustable overflow, you can see how the water is flowing into it, and from this it flows out of the outlet pipe. Starting off with this experiment, the first thing that we need to do is turn on this machine and adjust the control valve to a specific value. We can later on adjust this control valve if it doesn't meet our requirement. We let the head tank fill and at the same time observe how the water jet is being formed through the circular orifice. This is how it looks like when the head tank is filling up. In case if the head tank overspills, you can control the flow of water by adjusting the control valve. After everything is set up, lower down the needles on the clamp board by using the screws in such a way as they touch the water jet top surface. Then with a marker or any kind of a pen, mark the points on the clamp board on the paper. At the time we couldn't find a full A3 sheet so we used two A4 sheets. Try to use a complete one paper. The distance between each point needle is 5 cm and all of these vertical lines are being drawn to one horizontal reference line at the top. 